now I'm going to go on a bit of a rant again. Hello and welcome to Hating TV. At the moment, Devon is grey. Devon is grey, Devon is windy, Devon is raining. Adam's not quite here yet. He is dropping his son off to school and he's driving a little bit like this. But he might shoot me when he sees it. He'll be here in a minute. Uh, I'm just going to let the cows out to their outdoor yard this time of the year to save fields. They'll they'll pretty much go out any day it's sort of dry but we've had a couple of days wet so they'll stay in the their sort of uh, yard area which is voila, ta -da, where the new feeder is which I can show you in two seconds let me just spin around voila pretty happy with that they are used to it now they didn't like it for the first couple of days cows just don't like new is what I come to terms with so it took them about three days to get their head around it they were sort of going pinching it and then sort of grabbing a bit of hay and then running away something like it was going to eat them but it wasn't and it didn't anyway we keep them in the shed with their cars overnight at this time of the year so I just got to let them out come on Now the confusing part here is that they've gone all the direction to get a field. So it's pretty cool. Up this way we have, because this used to be a dairy farm, up this way we've got a track that goes up and splits off into three, four fields at the top. And then if you turn that way around the back of this shed there's another gate that goes into a fourth field and then if we go the way they the other way they go it goes out to another four or five fields so when it was a dairy farm it worked really really well come on let's go come on Off you go. Oh. Get on. No, darling, you've got to go the other way. Very good. So, sorted. They've still got enough feed in their hay feeder, so they're right for today. They'll get another bale tomorrow. There is a big pile of dung there. I've got to do that yard as well, clean it out again. It will get done with the new spreader at some point uh, when basically it dries up down here enough. If we take the dung spreader out fully loaded in the field at the moment, it's just going to, let's say, leave indentations, is one way to put it. But, hopefully, hopefully, it does dry up soon. Dry up or freeze? Freeze would, wouldn't be bad, apart from you end up with like yellow tram line directly to the ground, because it bruises it, it over bruises it. But let's see if we can find his raw shortness. So his raw shortness is here. Yep, I am here, turned up, ready for action. Just drop your son to school. Yep. Drive like a maniac. Yep. Drive it like you stole it, mate. Drive it like I stole it. And yeah, yeah. Got a point as well. We all know that. He yep. doesn't know it though yet. <laughs> In a is it? Yeah. All oh, right. Sorry, I must have missed that. Yeah, you, you, you'll see it when I edit. All right. 
Anyway, I've just let the cows out as you've seen. I've got to now get back into the bane shed. Ads is going down to sort the calves out. There's not many down there anymore, so it's not going to take very long, is it? No. And then, what are you going to do? Who knows? The world is my oyster, mate. The world's your oyster? Yeah, I have no idea. Well, the rain's here now. So the big boss man hasn't turned up yet. Well, he's around. We just haven't seen him. Uh, so he's either going to send you on delivery or you can have something fixed, aren't you? Yeah. Pretty much your two two choices, really, at the time of year. Yeah, pretty much. Can't edge trim. Too wet. Can definitely not spread dung because it's too wet. So, and the rain is coming. So, well, the rain is here actually, and it's looking rough and horrible out. So, that's gonna get on with that, and I'll see you in a minute. Right. So we are down with the calves. As you can see, they're in quite a big uh, loose housing, which is ideal for them. There isn't many in here, so they've got free reign to play, run around, chill out, do exactly what they want to do. Not all cramped, which is ideal for them. Um, as you know before in previous videos, all our young stock stays in. Various reasons why. Illnesses, touch word anyway. We don't suffer with anything like that. Um, again, but especially with the bulls as well, not letting them out. Because bulls, as we all know, when you let them out in the field and stuff like that, they are pains in the asses. So it's best we leave them all in. It's a nice closed herd that we've got here. We don't have any issues. And the cows, obviously, the cows are out all the time. But these stay in. And it's just easier to handle for our system. Because, obviously, the haylage is our main business anyway. This is just easier for us. So these stay in. Cows come into them. Cows go out. It's a really easy system and one that works and we don't get any issues. Right, so as you can see, they are behind me waiting for their breakfast. So, well, let's feed them. Right, so we've just got a bale of hay here that we'll just chuck into them. Uh, this will be topped up throughout the day. I've actually got a half a bale out here that we'll bring in in a minute and we'll use that instead. This is the perfect thing about having cows and doing what we do. They eat the rubbish. Not all rubbish, obviously, because at the end of the day, we are still trying to grow cattle um, for what we want the cattle to do. Right, so I'll put a bale of hay into their feeder in a minute. Um, we do give them a blend, but we've actually got the wrong blend here at the moment. So that's not very good. So we're going to have to go off and get the right blend in a minute. Um, we use uh, just a normal um, mixed blend, 16% protein. That's what we go for here. Um, we just give them a, a few bits every now and then. We don't grow the cattle too quickly here. You know, they're done when they're done, um, nice and slow. The meat's always nice and tender, which is, again, well, can't go much wrong, really, can you? Bit of beef, lovely. Um, right, so, yeah, so I'll give them a bale of hay here in a minute, and usually we just get, top it up throughout the day for them, but there is a half a bale uh, outside waiting to come in of um, haylage, because this, doing what we do with the hay and a bit of beef, is ideal because they get all the leftovers uh bales that aren't quite you know to our standard and it saves just wasting and there's always somewhere to go um because obviously what you put into them is what you get out of your cattle so anyway right let's give them this bale of hay because they are really waiting to eat So this here is the hay from the purple wrap the other day. Again, I've lied to the colours with the Alright, coming through lovely. Lovely shape. And it's constantly flying through them. Right, so that is the cows all fed. Gonna load up, we're gonna go on delivery, and then I'm gonna have a rant about something. So be warned going to be a, a miserable rant well would it be me if i wasn't miserable so there we go so yeah so we're gonna do that we're gonna load up quickly and then we're gonna get on the road right we have unloaded so i'm heading back to the farm now for a very important cup of tea yes another one gotta stop for a very important cup of tea and a bit of lunch now i'm gonna go on a bit of a rant again I know you all love my rants. So, Christmas. What does everyone think of Christmas? Me, personally, absolutely hate this time of year. Christmas Day, I've got three kids. It's 
brilliant. We all wake up really early. Again, don't get that. Why have they all got to wake up early for? Drives me insane. Oh, here's another rant in a minute. Slowing down for a cyclist. Anyway, that's a story for another day. Yes, Christmas Day. I've got to say it, I do love Christmas Day. I've got three kids and it is lovely watching them opening their presents. You know, it's nice, you know, they're really appreciative. Then, uh, then it all goes tits up for the rest of the day, really. They go and go to fight with each other. You've got one thinking he's got a better present than her, him thinking he's got a present than him. Oh, one of them's got a present they didn't want, but they read it on their Christmas list that he did want. Oh, that drives me insane as well. And then, but, oh, it just does my head in. It just, oh, just really, really gets one of us. It's a day of then, I've just got to sit there. There's a crap on TV. I looked at the Christmas guy the other day, right? I swear to you now, it's the same stuff on TV on Christmas Day as what it was when I was a youngster. Nothing changes Christmas Day. It's just boring, you can't go anywhere. The missus has had enough. I've had enough. The kids have definitely had enough. The little girl, she'd just be in despair all day. She just can't handle the emotion. She'd just be whining. Once they've opened their presents and played with, then that's enough. They've had enough then. They just go crazy for the rest of the day. It just, I hate it. Absolutely hate it. It's always. There's always something in our house anyway. The best, bit, the best bit about it is the roast. But there again, I hate turkey. Why is it going to be turkey? But no, there's only four of us in our house. Five of us, sorry. The kids are. Um, so, my missus is very traditional. Loves a big turkey. You know, we've got to get a big turkey. The big. The biggest turkey you can find. All the trimmings, everything like that. It's only her that likes turkey. The kids don't like it. I don't like it. I just don't see it. In my opinion, I'm just like a nice rib of beef. That would do me. Proper job. Lovely. But now, this is gonna have what she wants. Remember, happy wife, happy life. Yeah. And the other thing is what I really hate. Christmas decorations on cars. What is all that about? A little bit of tinsel running along the dash. Don't get it. Oh, honestly, I do not get it. Why do you want that? Flapping around on the dash. You look at people, just a little bit of silver tinsel running across the dash. Why? It's almost as bad as those stickers, isn't it, on the back of their car saying, I would buy fairy dust. I don't get that either. Why do you want that on the back of your car? I would buy fairy dust. <laughs> oh, it's whatever floats your boat, but I just, I can't get around that one. Really can. I just, well, call me Scrooge, call me what you like. I just don't. Um, this time of year, just, and I think with the pandemic as well, I think everyone's just got crazier and crazier as the year's gone on. Everyone is just mental, isn't they? Everyone's miserable, and like no one's got any patience. I mean, I've got no patience in the best of times anyway, but like I'm just me. But no one has got any patience for anything. Everyone has had enough. So I can, so I can, I think, you know, no one's really jolly for Christmas either, are they, you know? But, here's what it is. I mean, regardless of the pandemic, pandemic or, you know, whatever, I hate this time of year. Absolutely hate it. It's just boring. I will be glad to get back to work. No, you're wrong. I haven't had a day off this year. But it will be nice to spend a little bit of time with the missus. Just a couple of days, no more than that. Day is done. You just got back. Yep. I uh, can shoot back up in the shed uh, for the remainder of the day, which isn't very long. Uh, hope you guys have enjoyed watching. Did you have a rant again? Yeah. Everyone's been messaging me about my rant, so yes, we have another rant. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed his rant. Uh, you're you're going to let the cows in. Yes, I am. So the cows that I let out this morning will go back into their pen from their outdoor yard uh, and yeah it's pretty much it so 
Hope you all enjoyed watching. If you want to see more of us, you can find us on Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Please hit that subscribe, help us very much. Also, give us a thumbs up. That would be brilliant. Anyway, until next time, thank you. And cheers. <laughs>